knock it in tight with a hammer <coughs> and just put a single clamp down on there so it's a good fit I've made up a couple of long wedges just to tap out the sides there to make sure they're tight on the side uh, and as you can see I've just masked up a little bit to stop too much glue getting where it doesn't need to be Again, the block is glued in. I've now got to take out this central piece. Just got to trim this down so I can get my jig back on there. I've cut the back end off. I'm just about to cut the front end off so the jig fits over it. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll just uh, quickly show you the block in place. Modern technology. Whee, bit of that. More maybe. There you go. So this is now the block, that's trimmed out as a dovetail which I did on the saw, this side's the same. These pieces here are just there to wedge everything out tight. I'm now going to take out this section here using the router. But first I shall cut a little bit off the front so my jig fits over it. Hopefully my router jig will fit over that. I've left the body up with the laser from the centre lines. I should put the jig on so it's level across there. That way when this is taken out the neck should fit in there perfectly level. there and there, which you create in the fifth tile. These bits now will be chiselled out. Super.
Never find a scoring knife when you want one. Mm, well. Looking good, I'm just going to pull the back in a little bit just to see the... Uh... Not much, but enough. Thickness, which in this case is 0.7 of a millimetre. It's such a small amount, I'm going to have to put the chisel on and just give it a bit of a, a wrap. A little bit of undercut. There we go. Thank you. 
Well, I'll call that good. That is now ready for gluing in.